Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I'll be discussing whether you should put your money towards a PS5 or a gaming PC. The PS5 represents what the next gen console really is capable of. Hardware in the newest generation of consoles has actually been present in PC gaming for a very long time. So let's dive into what it means for the future of gaming. As always, for more in-depth information, read our WePC article article on this subject, click on the card above or the link down below. Starting things off with talking about the CPU. The PS5 has an 8-core Zen 2 AMD chip. PC owners can match this with AMD's Ryzen 7 3700X. It can handle multi-thread tasks pretty well and offers 4K gaming performance at a decent price, around $300. This is the processor to go for to replicate the PS5 in a PC build. If you are looking to beat the PS5 in a PC build, stepping it up to the Ryzen 9 3900X will give you the advantage, but it is a bigger price price tag. This chip offers 12 cords and 24 threads, beating the PS5 equivalent. Moving on to GPU, which is the biggest question for PS5 versus PC. In the PS5, we have a custom AMD RDN A2 GPU, which isn't available on the mass market yet. The RDN A2 architecture supports ray tracing and the performance benchmarks clock in around at the level of the 2070 Super. The RTX 2070 Super is a good equivalent. Next, we have the SSD. Sony has spoken of the importance of the PS5 SSD. It's the first SSD of its its kind in a console. A PCIe 4.0 SSD with around 5GB reserved for performance and another 825GB for storage. Meaning the PS5 will not have to spin a hard disk up to speed in order to pull in data. Load times have been cut short because of this, allowing for more assets to be put into the games and a higher level of rendering to be applied to the in-game world, making for a much more immersive experience. You can buy one terabyte equivalent for your PC right now. It's going to cost about $200, but it is possible. Now let's talk about internal media and connectivity. The PS5 has an optical drive that many PCs don't. It can play Ultra HD 4K Blu-rays and other media stored on discs. But with Steam, the Epic Game Store and an affordable external SSD drives, for PC it is not necessary to have a disk drive. Streaming services offer the same high quality content in a variety of formats. Sony does know this, so one of their PS5 models is without a Blu-ray drive being a digital only model. The PS5 includes two USB-C inputs and one USB-A port, which is no real surprise when you think about the level of connectivity you would expect on a standard console unit. So a standard PC case matched with a decent PSU is going to match the PS5 in terms of connectivity and input potential. Finally, on to price of these two options, the PS5 is available to buy now, if you can find one in stock that is, at a price of $499 for the standard edition and $399 for the digital only version. But with stock being as low and rare to come by as it is right now, people have been buying PS5s way over the asking price through private sales. So guys, realistically, you can go part for part with the PS5 hardware and still come out with an equivalent PC at a reasonable price. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave us a comment down below on which one you rather, PC or console. Please give us a like and a subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. And if you look over here, there's going to be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thanks again.